is recommended that specific order types and procedures are set up in LN for use by FactoryTrack. FactoryTrack generates a number of transfers within the standard processing of the transactions and we recommend that these are the steps that should be set up for this to work at its optimum. We would recommend first of all that you set up specific procedures that are used for factory trap purposes. Looking at the four types of procedures in general, if we look at the factory trap receipt, we would suggest that it just has the receipt, the inbound and the put away as manual steps. For the inspection procedure, we would recommend it is just turned off. For factory track outbounding, we would recommend that you have generate outbound and release outbound as manual steps. Finally, for the factory track shipment, we would recommend that it purely has the freeze and confirm shipment as a manual step. We would then suggest that you create some specific order types that are going to be used by factory track, in particular the factory track transfer. So these are going to be used throughout factory track where goods are being moved in the background. We would use the four procedures we've set up for the factory track receipt, inspection, outbound and shipment. Please note that all of the steps that for each of these are set as manual steps and we don't have additional steps. There's no real point in having a generate picking list if this is a purely internal transfer that is taking place. We would also recommend that if we're intending to use factory track to receive goods, that again, it would be set up with these same steps, the manual steps for the receipts and for the inspection. Obviously the inspection could be turned on depending on the type of receipt that is being made. But otherwise, again, we would recommend that they use these steps. The problem if we have the put away inbound advice set as an automatic step is that LN will decide when it generates the outbound advice, it will automatically put it away. Whereas in factory trap, we're expecting the operator to specify the location they're putting it into. So if we have it as an automatic step rather than a manual step, we're liable to get conflict between the logic that LN is using and the logic that factory track is using to specify the actual location the goods are being put into.